welcome back so in the previous video this uh, this video right here we accessed our AWS AWS console management from uh, CLI via one of our EC2 instance and uh, we saw that how dangerous it can be it has full access yeah anything that user can do that EC2 instance uh, if anybody hacks it or has access to it from our public key Oh, sorry a private key they will be able to do the uh, damage if they want to and uh, we were able like uh, yes it, it it will be a lot of work if you were to go and edit that AWS folder and edit credentials and all that but there is an easier way if you are familiar with the principle of uh, least privilege uh, it's a concept with the uh, active directory the same thing is with roles within AWS. So if we go to our AWS management console, let's go to the uh, main page so you, you have a clarity how to reach that. Uh, if you click on services, scroll down to security identity and compliance, click on IAM. So roles, they are basically a part of IAM. You can see all the way down, there's nothing here. So click on IAM, we have two users. And roles are right here so basically you give those uh, uh, security access to users but you can use the roles uh, to do the least privilege and assign it to any user or a machine so in our case we use the the ec2 instance with one of these uh, username right here you see it it no longer has any security credentials uh, but that user was a not wasn't a not only able to create s3 buckets but uh, would have able to do anything else because they had they were full admin in case of roles we can give it just the minimum amount of uh, permission and uh, we can assign it to that ec2 instance and that uh, ec uh, user well, uh, sorry, that EC2 instance will only be able to do that. So in our case, we're gonna do the S3 access. So let's get started, click on roles. And these are two roles that are by default already there. We're, gonna, we're not gonna bother with them. We have to click create role. This is the really interesting uh, portion. Uh, this basically asking you on the very top level, uh, this role what is it's going to be doing what is it about is it about service or account or identity or federation i have no idea what this federation is by the way but anyways uh, um what what this role is about that's the top level it's already selected so let's go with it next what this role about which service we could click s3 right wrong because we want to use that EC2 instance. So that's why we're gonna click on EC2 instance. And next is permission. So basically we're telling that EC2 instance that we're gonna assign this role to and what kind of permission it's going to have. We're gonna search S3 here. And we have these one related to S3. You can see everything. Now we want uh, our role to have full S3 access. There is a read-only access, but in that case, uh, it will not be able to write bucket, create buckets. So we want this one. Select it. Next tag. Tags are just like, uh, I, so uh, like quickly search this role. Uh, we can name it or let's lay name for EC2. Let's go review. And role name, uh, we say S3 full access. Oh, no spaces, okay. S3 full access. And we can leave the description as default and create role. That's how you create a role. But it's to assign this role to that EC2 instance, we have to go to our EC2 instance. And let's go to EC2, come to compute. We have one running instance. It's already selected, so click on action. Yeah, this is the notification we saw it. Uh, so you can see, yeah, whatever. And instance uh, setting right here. 
attach replace im role so if there were uh, roles already attached to this one we could replace them but in our case it's a new one we can attach so this uh, we can see no roles already attached we could create a new role or we can attach this one if we apply role operation succeeded and now let's get to the uh, instance connect connect to it uh, and try to do the thing now uh, we're gonna tr uh, l let me show you my buckets right there because we're gonna with this one we're gonna create a, yet another one s3 these are the buckets i'm gonna refresh it so these are just two now i'm gonna try to do the same i'm gonna try uh, let's see ls what's there there's this is the the file i created it's still there i'm gonna try to just like before i'm gonna try to listing get the listing out of the bucket aws s3 oh, s3 ls and it's saying does not match a sport dot format what's basically saying is rather than using the role and by going through the role to access my s3 bucket listing what it's doing it it's still going to this folder cd dot aws you see the the uh, this folder still exists so get out of this folder we'll put type cd tilde now we're out we're on the root and we will remove this folder so basically we will say remove and we pass the rf parameter and dot aws now what it's going to do is it's going to remove this dot aws folder from the, the root and once the folder is removed our ec2 instance will no longer be able to get that uh, configuration and it will be forced to use that role now what does this rf means uh, remove is used in linux for removing a file so basically if we don't use this minus r uh, 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 sorry hyphen r uh, it means recursively like uh, don't stop keep deleting until you delete everything because sing single r i'm only going to delete just one file the first file and f is force since the aws is a hidden folder uh, we want to uh, we are telling that uh, our machine yeah we know it's important you think it's important you think i need it but just go delete it don't ask me and like i said that if you don't get an error message in linux it means that the command uh, went through successfully if i try to cd into dot aws now i get an error meaning that the file or directory has been deleted now let me get the s3 listing and i got my listing this time i'm not getting this error now this machine is not going through the those credentials it's using that access role uh, that we created and assigned to this instance and it's uh, accessing that uh, uh, listing let's quickly create aws s3 mv s3 and in Ohio one two three make bucket so if I go and refresh it I have my bucket right here uh, I'm running in Ohio one two three all right so this is it for this video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one